Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running the camera great as always. Hi, Sheila. Hi. We got a great ribeye steak recipe coming up, and it needs some clarified butter for the recipe. And I thought instead of making it in the kitchen, we might as well make it out here in our little demonstration room. So if you'll come over here and take a little peek, I'll show you how you do it. What we want to do is we want to separate the water and the milk solids from the butter. And that's how you get clarified butter. I got this on medium heat. I got one pound of butter in here. I couldn't find a whole pound, so you probably see four sticks almost completely dissolved. And you'll see the water kind of bubbling to the top and the milk solids will go to the bottom. So let me do this for a while and get it separated and we'll be right back. I always like to show you everything as it kind of goes along. Right here you can see quite a bit of foam coming to the top and the milk solids are sinking to the bottom. We'll see them in a minute, but we're going to skim this foam off the top here in a little bit. But first, let me turn this down even a little bit lower. You don't want to boil it, you just want to bring it to like a simmer. As soon as this came to a boil, I turned it down to simmer. It's been simmering about five minutes now. And you'll see my handy dandy little tool that I got here to skim this foam off. We want to start skimming that off. I took the biggest tablespoon out of the kitchen drawer that I never use and I bent it so it's just perfect for skimming foam off of clarified butter and we're going to keep simmering this for about 20 to 30 minutes until the milk solid starts sinking to the bottom but this is a handy way to get this foam off of here because if you've ever tried to reach in with a spoon and get it to come up it just doesn't want to so Find a tablespoon in your kitchen drawer that you always want to use for this. Bend it so it's got a little bit of a downward angle to the end of it. Then you can skim all that foam off the top. And we're going to keep simmering this. Any more foam shows up here. We don't want to stir it. We just want to simmer it. You don't want to stir it back and forth. You just want to let it separate. And by stirring it, you're just going to stir it back together again. So. We're getting the foam off. Now we just need to get the solids to soak to the bottom. So let's give it another 10 or 15 minutes. It's been about 15 minutes now. And we've been skimming the foam off of here. And don't forget, don't throw this foam away. You can actually cook with this. It's delicious, but it is really salty. Because it pulls all the salt right to the top. A lot of people just throw it away. But you can use it if you want to. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, we're going to take this, and we've had this at real low simmer. You don't want to burn the butter. We've had this at real low simmer. Let's see if I can get my little burner out of the way here, now that i got it turned off here. It's going to hang up in that little spot, ain't it? Yeah, there we go. Always remember, if it can go wrong on camera, it will. Let's pour this in here. Now, we're going to let this settle for about 15-20 minutes and we'll be back and I'll show you what we have. Well, alright, we simmered this for about 30 minutes, real low heat, and man, we got a ton of that foam off the top of it. We poured it in here and you can see the difference between the clarified butter and the milk solids at the bottom. And there's just a real fine film on the top that sometimes you can't get with your spoon. So you can take a paper towel and just kind of wipe it across the top like that and look how clear that got just instantly. Now there's one other thing you can do. You can also run it through a coffee filter and it'll get real super clarified clear or you can just hold it up like this here and kind of keep a real close eye on it. As you pour it in here just keep an eye on the solids. Don't let them come over the lip. And they want to lay on the bottom there, so right there. Wow, we. And that's it. You can't come over there. Look at that. Beautiful, clarified butter. Now you can do several things with this. You can drizzle it on your popcorn. It's great to heat up a little bit and dip your crab legs in, seafood, that kind of thing. Or you can take a little bit of it and drizzle it on your platter when you lay your T bone on there after it comes out of the broiler. And that's why I made this, is for my steak recipe that's coming up soon. It's just that easy. Here's the foam, here's the solids, 
And here's that beautiful clarified butter right here in the middle. I hope this recipe has been helpful and I hope it's an easy one for you to do. It's easy. Just chuck in a pound of butter, put it on medium heat. When it starts to come to a boil, turn it down to simmer. Simmer it for like 30 minutes. Get yourself a spoon out of the kitchen and bend it crooked so you can use it as a little ladle to get them foam chunks off the top and you'll have beautiful clarified butter. I hope you like our recipes. Right here in the top corner you'll see little Shotgun Red's face pop up there. If you click on that with your mouse or hold it over there you can subscribe. And over here we'll probably put that steak recipe or something close to it that uses clarified butter. But I hope this has been helpful and is this the easiest clarified butter recipe you ever made? If it ain't, it ought to be. On behalf of myself, Steve Hall, and Pretty Miss Sheila, don't forget, you can always use the coffee filter, but she didn't let me do that today because then we'd have to wash it out and stuff. But Sheila's sitting back there doing a great job. Thanks, Sheila. You're welcome. I didn't use the coffee filter. I just poured it over here. But if you want to make it real, real clear, run it through a coffee filter. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye-bye for now.